In 2006, internet giant Google commissioned a major study which showed for the first time in history that people were spending more time getting their information online than they were watching TV. Although the study was only in the UK, it's now happening all around the world. And right now, blogs are being created at an amazing rate, in excess of one and a half new blogs every second, which is around about 100 a minute, and that rate is increasing month on month. This is a very big change which has huge implications for everyone in business without exception. You know, it's really interesting to know, note that for thousands of years the way people marketed their products was they just had conversations with other people. I mean, a thousand years ago you went to the town square, you brought your chicken hanging from your head, hand, you know, by the neck, and you said, hey, you want to buy my chicken? It's a good chicken and somebody would buy it or they wouldn't based on that conversation. And it's only been in the last 50 years or so that we've had a mass media and a whole marketing and advertising culture that's focused on mass media. And that mass media was a result of us having only a couple of newspapers, some magazines, and a few television stations to point people to. But with the internet, all of those physical manifestations have completely gone away. So we no longer have to have a mass market, dumbed down, message driven, driven advertising thing, because that's not what people want. People want to get back to the idea of going to the town square and having a conversation, which is what the internet allows us to do. And it's so neat that we can get back to what we've been doing for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. And, and, in, the, and in the end, the whole mass market thing is kind of an aberration in, in the history of the world. Businesses have to find new ways of communicating with their target audience, absolutely. Communication channels, uh, traditional marketing channels are just getting noisier and noisier, and you have to find new ways of cutting through that and getting attention. The corporations worldwide have got into the habit of shoveling out crap. They go to the PR people who add adjectives in. They go to the legal people who take that which is left that's interesting out. And they send something out which is just pure pap. This is boring. Nobody wants to read things that are boring. We want to hear stories. We want to hear struggles. I think because there's just so much more advertising, I mean, this generation has been marketed to from younger and younger ages. And because of all the different screens that they're consuming media on, on the computer, on their cell phone, on social networking sites, there's just more, more marketing trying to reach them from all of these different inputs. Return on investment is very important for any company. And uh, conversation-based marketing, in many cases, offers a very good return on investment. The public is, is very tired of, of uh, old formulas. It's very important to do fun stuff. Come up with a great story which can survive on its own and then just attach your product to it. Obviously the two have to be related somehow, but the whole idea is that you have to entertain the public. We've seen that the most successful companies are taking a very different approach. Why continue to pump out untargeted messages? Everyone's connected on the internet at broadband speeds. You can engage your customers in conversations, and you can do it at low cost, and you can do it globally. eBay is really a fantastic example of how it's done. They've created millions of tiny niche marketplaces and conversations. But the great news for business people out there is that you don't need to create expensive technology like eBay to bring this sort of power to your business. You can use stuff off the shelf which you can implement with minimal investment. Think forums, blogs, social networking software, video conferencing, live support. You can really dip your toe in the water for very little investment. Just grab the technology off the shelf and copy those who have been successful. To be successful, businesses need to be comfortable with a new conversational style of marketing. In this series, we'll help you to get to grips with email marketing, blogging for business, writing good copy, the new advertising, and social networking.